Hi all, welcome to the new episode of Tech Insert. Today we are going to make a variable power supply from 1 volt to 30 volt with a 10 ampere capacity. This circuit can handle 1.5 ampere max, but the same circuit we will transform to 10 ampere gradually. Please watch the video completely. There are so many things I am doing in between and please do not miss anything. Subscribe to my channel for getting new videos like this. Also press bell icon so you will never miss any videos from my channel. This is LM317 which is a positive linear voltage regulator. Its complementary is LM337. This is the pin details of LM317. First pin is adjustment, second pin is output and the third pin is input. I have attached the LM317 in a small aluminium heatsink. I will assemble the circuit in this common PCB and will come back. I have completed the soldering part. There are only 5 components, 4 are in the PCB and the other one is a 5K linear potentiometer which is used for changing the output voltage. The white and grey line is the output line and uh, the brown and black is the input line. First we will check the input voltage. The input voltage I am taking from my bench power supply. In my bench power supply it can vary from 0 to 36 volt with the help of booster module. You can see the output of my bench power supply is set to 14.1 volt. We will increase this voltage to 20 volt. This 20 volt we will be giving to the input of our LF317 regulator circuit. I have completed all the wiring and you can see the output is now having 9.9 .9 volt. Please remember the input voltage is 20 volt and the output voltage is 9.9 .9 volt. Now we can change the output voltage by changing the potentiometer. You can see the output voltage is now 1.2 volt. This is not 1.2 volt, this is 1.25 volt. And the maximum voltage I can get from this is 18.6 volt. Now we can fix the output voltage to any voltage between 1.25 and 18.6 volt. The voltage range we can input to LM317 is 3 to 40 volt and the output voltage we can get is 1.25 to 37 volt. This is a step down voltage regulator. If you are pulling 1.5 ampere from this regulator then it requires a strong heat sink. Also there is a direct replacement for this regulator which is LM350 which can handle 3 ampere max. We will fix the voltage to 12 volt then we will give a load and test it. We have fixed the voltage to 12.0 volt and this is the load we are going to test it. This is a 12 volt 20 watt COB LED. This LED also requires a heat sink. We are not fixing it, we will be just placing the uh, LED on top of this heat sink. The regulator starts heating up. I am placing a tissue paper on top of this LED otherwise we cannot see anything. We can check the temperature of the regulator IC. The temperature of the regulator now reached the 50 degrees Celsius. I don't think that the uh, regulator can withstand for a long time. We need a bigger heatsink for settling this heat. Now we will change the existing circuit by adding a small modification so that it can handle 10 ampere. We are adding a 2N3055 power transistor to the output stage. In this circuit, LM317 do not require heatsink anymore. The 2N3055 transistor should be attached to a good heatsink. 
In my previous video, I have shown you how to attach 3055 in a heatsink. I will give the video link in the description box. Those who have not seen it can watch it using this video link. This is the pin details of 3055 transistor. This is emitter, this is base and the body is the collector. Earlier the minimum voltage we can get is 1.25 but now we will get a minimum voltage of 1 volt. The heatsink for the LM317 is not required but since I have attached it using heatsink paste and all I have not removed it from the regulator. The power transistor is now warming up. Please like and share this video among your friends. If you want even more current or want to reduce the load of the single transistor then you can parallel the power transistor like this. Now the current will be divided by these two transistors. Now this circuit can adjust voltage only and the current depends on the load we are connecting. In the coming video I will use the same circuit and modify it to adjust current also. For that we will be adding a potentiometer and a BD139 transistor into the circuit and using that potentiometer we can fix the output current from this circuit. Please stay tuned for that. Please subscribe to my channel for getting more videos like this. That will be an encouragement to me for making more things like this to you. This is Tech Insert signing off. See you in another video. Till then, goodbye and please take care.